Hi friends! Welcome to our class! Today we're learning about height, specifically how to tell when something is shorter. We are going to be learning how we can use our bodies to figure out who is taller and who is shorter. Some vocabulary words that we'll be hearing today are height, taller, and shorter. If you haven't learned about taller yet, you can watch that video below. And today is going to be all about shorter. Let me introduce my friends. Here we have Nick, Kira, Jamal, Shaba, and Miriam. They're going to help us learn about height and how to figure out which person is shorter. To measure height, we always start at the bottom. So when we're measuring a person's height, we start at their feet. Then we measure from the bottom of their feet all the way up to the top of their head. That tells us their height. And when we compare somebody's height to somebody else's height, we can see who is shorter. Let's look first at Nick and Kira. We're going to measure how tall Nick is, then how tall Kira is, and then we can compare them to see who is shorter. First, let's measure Nick. We can see Nick's height by starting at his feet and measuring the distance to the top of his head. This is shown with the red arrow. Now we can measure Kira's height. To measure, Kira, to measure Kira's height, we also started at her feet and measured to the top of her head. We can see that Nick's arrow is shorter than Kira's arrow, which means that Nick is shorter than Kira. There is less distance from the bottom of Nick's feet to the top of his head than there is for Kira. Nick is shorter and Kira is taller. Now let's look at Jamal and Shaba. We're going to measure Jamal and Shaba the same way that we measured Nick and Kira. First, let's measure Jamal. We'll start at the bottom of his feet and measure the distance to the top of his head. We can see that height with the red arrow. Now let's measure Shaba. We measured Shaba by starting at the bottom of her feet and measuring to the top of her head. That distance is less than Jamal's because her arrow is smaller. That means that Shaba is shorter than Jamal and that Jamal is taller than Shaba. So which person is shorter? Shaba, very good. Shaba is shorter because there is less distance between her feet and the top of her head. Finally, let's look at Nick and Miriam. When we measure Nick, we start at the bottom of his feet and measure to the top of his head. We can see that distance by the red arrow. Now let's measure Miriam. We're starting at the bottom of her feet and measuring to the top of her head. This is represented by another red arrow. What do you notice about these two distances? Very good, these two distances are the same. That means that Nick and Miriam are the same height. Neither one of them is shorter because they are the same. Great job, friends. And thank you to everybody who joined us here today to learn about what it means to be shorter. Remember that something is shorter if there is less distance between the bottom and the top. And on a person, we can measure their height or the distance from their feet to their head and then compare that to somebody else's to see who is shorter. Thanks so much. Have a great rest of your day. And I'll go ahead and say bye for now.